In this video, I'm going to show you six mature age Filipinas who are looking to marry a foreigner. Now, these Filipinas all age between 40 and 58. So if you're a guy who's looking to date and then marry a Filipina and you're looking for a really serious relationship, then this video is going to be for you. Now, it's not like the previous video I did, which has been quite popular, where it was about the younger Filipinas with older foreign guys. If you haven't seen that video and you'd like to have a look at that one, then I'll have a card at the end of this, this video, which you can click on and it'll take you straight there. Now, the criteria I put in the search to find these six mature Filipinas, uh, first of all, they had to be either single, widowed, annulled or divorced. And yes, you can get divorced in the Philippines under certain circumstances. For the general population, divorce won't be an option in the Philippines. But there are certain circumstances, as I say, such as if you're married to a foreigner and you get divorced, then you can apply for what they call recognition of divorce, which once it's accepted by the courts, the Filipina would be free to remarry. The other criteria we've popped in here is the woman doesn't want children in the future, has to have at least at least four photographs, logged in in the last week, so we want to make sure they're being active on here. They must have some sort of information in their bio, not just saying that they're a simple woman or they've just only got a few words in there, well, a little bit more than just a couple of words. And they've also got to have a minimum of four pictures. Now, before we talk about Alia here, uh, if you want to join Christian Filipina, it is free to do so. And it's quite easy. Just click my affiliate link in the pinned comment and description, and you can then view thousands of Filipina profiles. But you will need to upgrade up here if you wish to interact with the Filipina. So if you wish to chat with them or to do video calls, you will need to upgrade for that. But it gives you a good look at the site. And you can see what women are there that are looking for a serious relationship with a foreigner. So we'll get straight into this video. I'll try and go through these as quick as we can. And first up, we've, as I said earlier, we've got Alia, who's 58 years of age. And she's from Tacloban in the Philippines. She says here that she's reserved and shy and would like to meet one who is willing to overcome it. The same page of honesty, knowing that we're on borrowed time and life makes use of it wisely. Always aware of God's presence in our life. So she hasn't got a lot there, but it's better than just a couple of words. Ideally, we want a little bit more than that, which some of the other ladies will have. And if we scroll down, we can see she's got their five pictures and we can quickly go through those pictures to get an idea of what she looks like. And some information there, she's looking to meet a foreign guy around the age of 60 to 70. No, no strict age limits though. She says she's single. Now, I want to just make a point here about Filipinas on dating sites when they put single. That's something you've really got to talk to them about. If you find a woman on a dating site that you do like and she says single, well, her definition of single may be different to what our definition is. Single to her may be that she was married, but she's now separated and she's no longer classing herself as married. When in the eyes of the law in the Philippines, if she was married and say they separated 20 years ago, and there's been no annulment, the husband's still alive, then she's still classed as a married woman, which has quite significant consequences or possible consequences in the Philippines if you're involved with a married woman. They do have laws over there around adultery and that sort of thing. So just be aware on that. Now, Going on further, she's had has a bachelor's degree 
and she doesn't have children and she doesn't want children, which is all part of our criteria. And she's willing to relocate if she finds the right man. And of course, she was logged in the same day I am recording this video, the 21st of December. So if you like the look of Alia and you might want to contact her via Christian Filipina, you can either jot down her user ID here or I will put them also in the description for each of these ladies. I'll write down their user ID information. So our next lady will be Lynn, who's 51, and she's widowed, and her number is 277-6933. So Lynn's from the province of Quezon in the Philippines, and she's got a bit more information here. This is the sort of information we want to see, a little bit more than just a couple of words or even a few lines. She says that she's widowed and retired from her corporate job, but still have plans to be employed again. I make myself busy cooking and doing a lot of chores and errands. I'm Catholic and choir member of our church and attend Sunday Mass and Bible study weekly. She's fond of reading, movies, music, karaoke, Zumba and travel. I also love nature, parks, beaches, lakes, farm and resort. I pray that God will send me a godly person whom I will spend the rest of my life and be happy again. We'll take care of each other and we'll hold hands in good and bad times. I want a man with a strong sense of humour. We may have different culture, but we'll be united in faith as Christians. I love reading everyone's profile here and they're quite addicting. There's one who is like a poet or writer and his writings made me teary eyed. It's so heartwarming also to see men who truly believe in God. Thank you all, especially to God, because you make each day worth living. I lost the love of my life. Be my forever. So obviously she was very happily married and it was a sad time when her husband passed on, but now she's looking to be happy again with somebody else. And we've got a stack of pictures here. We'll quickly go through Lynn sounds like, from her profile, she's quite educated. And she says here she's looking for a man 45 to 65, but the age limits are not strict. As we say, she's widowed, has a bachelor's degree. She has children at home part-time, and she doesn't want any more children. And she's also willing to relocate. And she was also logged in today. And again, Lynn's profile number, 2776933. Now, our next lady will be Shirley, who's 51. She's single, she, and she's from Pasig City in the Philippines. A very simple woman, God-fearing, easygoing, and not hard to please. I don't drink or smoke. I'm seeing serious relationship that leads to marriage. Age doesn't matter. I have two grown-up sons and one daughter. I love outdoors, like beach, hiking, jogging, and outing with my family and friends. Again, we've got some photos here, quite a few photos, all natural around the house or around her city or places she may have been to, which is always good. She's looking to meet a man up to the age of 75. Again, age limits are not strict. She says she's single, but as I mentioned earlier, check that with her and or any other Filipina for that matter who say they're single. You can always get a cinema, which is a certificate of no marriage, which is a government document. If you want to be 100% sure on her singleness, let's say, to make sure that she is single and she is able to be married in the Philippines. And she says down here she has children at home full time. She doesn't want any more children. So I'm assuming those children at home are probably at least teenagers, probably adults, and she's willing to relocate. So again, there's her number, 210319. And I will, as I say, put them into the description of this video. The next one we're looking at is Mariah, who's 49 and single, 
2173248. Pop that in there and click on Mariah. And she's from Quezon City in Metro Manila. She's in the big city. Fair bit of information here. Great day, gentlemen. I'm Mariah. I'm here to find a serious relationship on this site. I'm grateful for all I have and enjoy the simple things in life. I do my best to live in a manner for me, treat others the way you want to be treated. My love, family and friends describes me as simple, thoughtful, respectful, soft-hearted and sometimes funny. I'm really serious searching relationship that will last till the end. It can lead to marriage. I believe in true love. I believe God will find me the right person at the right time, even I'm getting older. And she has a little laugh about that. Please, please, guys, honest only. I love cooking, singing, and video key. Well, what Filipina doesn't like video key? Not too many. Always walking, especially when I buy goods from my Surrey Surrey store. It's also good for the heart and health. I like dancing too. Do you like to dance on the rooftop together? Life is too short. Live life to the fullest. Always focus on the good and choose to be happy. I'm looking for a man that's serious, searching relationship too. He must be kind, respectful gentleman, faithful, and of course, faithful. Uh, she has another little chuckle. I think she's got a bit of a sense of humor, this lady. Willing to love and be loved. Thanks so much, guys, to viewing my profile. God bless us all. So she's put a bit in there, but uh, you can get a lot from what she says there. So if you like the sound of her, she might be one for you to contact and investigate a little further. Plenty of pictures. So she's got the idea on how these dating sites work, unlike many Filipinas who just have limited information and only one or two pictures. So this is obviously the Surrey Surrey store she was speaking about. So there we go. That's Lynn's photos. So she's looking for someone 55 to 70 with no strict age limits. She says she's single and she doesn't want children in the future. And our next mature lady looking for a foreigner to marry is Christine. She's 44 years of age and she comes from San Juan Metro Manila. The user ID, if you want to jot it down, 2780818. She says she's a single mum with two grown up kids. I love to read the Bible, watching movies, series, and Korean drama. Yes, many Filipinas love their Korean drama and Filipino drama for that matter as well. I'm looking for an honest, trustworthy, genuine, loyal, and most especially God fearing man. I hate scammers, especially those who are asking money from a woman. Well, that's a turn on the tables, isn't it? I'm sure they're out there, though. I really do love traveling. It helps me to recharge from stress, and I believe it would help a person to be more productive when they come back to, to work. So we've got a few photos here of Christine. There we go. And she's looking for someone 40 to 60. Again, no strict age limits. She says she's single, bachelor's degree. She has children at home full time. She doesn't want any more kids. And she's willing to relocate as well. And we move on to our next mature Filipina looking to marry a foreign man. And we have V is 40. Her number is 1. Two zero three six six eight and V comes from Cebu. And there's a fair bit to read here. So I'll read a bit of it. I don't know if I'll read it all. You can actually read it yourself. We don't want to go too long on the video or any longer than necessary. Hi, I want to update my profile today, June 19, 2023. So that was when she's last updated her profile not when she was last logged in because it's unvisited and outdated. What I'm looking for here is someone 
who's open-minded, seriously looking for com companionship. I have three kids, 17, 16, and six, never been married. So she's telling you straight up that she's never been married. I want to mention that because I value honesty and integrity. I'm a loyal person, especially to my loved ones. I value order and I value health. I like camping, hiking, beaching and traveling. So as I say, there's quite a bit more information there, which I'll just leave for you to read. But the information she gives you there is quite good compared to what you'll get from many Filipinas. And then we go down and look at her pictures and she's got some good pictures here. And she's a quite an attractive woman. And we come down, she's looking to meet someone 36 to 70, no strict age limits. She's single, graduate degree, which I would imagine from reading that profile, I can see how she would have a graduate degree. She's got quite good English. Uh, she has children at home full time. She doesn't want any more and willing to relocate. So again, if you're wanting to contact any of these ladies or any other of the tens of thousands of women on Christian Filipina, firstly, create your free account via my affiliate link in the pinned comment and description of this video. And then you'll need to upgrade by hitting this button up here, upgrade button, and you can get a paid account, which will give you full access to contacting and speaking with these Filipinas, either messaging, or via video chat, depending on which package you choose. And as I mentioned earlier in this video, that we did a video previously, which is titled Seven Beautiful Filipinas Looking to Marry Older Foreigners. It's going great with the views and the response is fantastic. If you haven't seen it yet, be sure to check it out by clicking on the card appearing on screen now. And don't forget guys to subscribe to the channel like the video and put your comments below. And if you know anyone who may like this video, share it around. Until the next video, thanks for watching. Stay safe and take care.